So we're gonna be starting this video with some slightly disappointing news for the Session Skate community. Specifically this reply that was to a comment from someone named FrozenFBG on Instagram asking multiplayer coming for consoles and Session responded with unfortunately doesn't work with how our physics or else we would have 100% built it. We are however looking at building a few other ways to connect and share certain things with others for the future but as far as classic open multiplayer that is off the table. That is that's absolutely crazy. I guess it's not that crazy. You would think that they would implement a universal physics setting for online modes, but they seem to be sticking with this and fully removing it. So it is extremely disappointing for anyone who was having high hopes and playing this amazing skate games with their friends. So I guess for now, all you get is um, a trick simulator. When you don't feel like skating or you can't go skate outside, you can just do some cool tricks in a game. But the, the story mode in session skate sim is already lacking. It's pretty dry. It doesn't have any voice acting. A lot of the tricks inside of the missions don't register. But to get to the awesome things about the game still, it simulates real life skateboarding like no video game I've ever played. It feels really good when you get an understanding on the controls. The amount of tricks you can do in the game is pretty endless and you can do a lot. You can have a lot of fun with it. So I get a lot of people saying that they're waiting on me to make a tutorial for them to play because if you haven't seen, I go live on TikTok every single night playing this game for you guys and we do live trick requests. And from the most unrealistic 360 hard flip nose blunt hard flip revert to something as simple as a kick flip Bennett grind, I think I can do it all. There are tons of great players in this game. I feel like I'm one of them and I've proven that time and time again, which is why I get so many requests for me to make a trick tutorial or a tutorial in general on how to get started playing session. So if this is what you've been looking for, this is it. So when you first boot up session, you're going to have the option. When you first boot up session, you're going to have the option to create your own character. And from the eight silhouettes available, there's not much changes you can make to them. There are no cosmetic changes you can make to the character body itself. You can only slap some clothes on. So for the sake of this video, let's go with number five. This one was requested a ton in some of our lives. We'll do regular and we'll name this character tutorial. We'll name him tutorial Jones. Change some of the gear already to what we have in our inventory. And prior to some updates, the game wouldn't even allow you to wear what your previous characters had on deck, you know? But that seems to be an option now, which is totally fine. Now, if you play on PC, there are mods for this game. There are mostly map mods and then clothing mods or character mods. I don't use any performance mods because this game because this game doesn't need it. But that's beyond the point. Let's throw on some Excel OGs and get out there. Now, when you take off to go skate, there is something in this game that is a better teacher than anything that I can show you. So first you want to press start. So first you want to press start. Go to skater log replay tutorial, please. This is so important. You are about to be teleported and play the tutorial. This will override your difficulty setting with the default difficulty settings. Are you sure you wish to continue? Yes, I am sure. This is how you must start this game. I'll play it through with you right now and hopefully you're playing at the same time as me. And if you're not, then you can just watch this until the end and maybe it will inspire you to cop this game. Mind you, I get no kickback from people purchasing this game. So I appreciate the hundreds of people that I've influenced to go try this out. I, I just keep it real, bro. This isn't sponsored in any case. And you see, if they had some, um, some voice acting, this would have been great to just sit through. But after this sentence, I'll start reading it all to you. Let's start with leaning and steering. So in this game, you do not use the sticks to turn. There is an option to use the sticks to turn, but by default, you use the triggers. Try pushing and get those wheels spinning. All right, bet. So you push with A or you push with X. That's dependent on your right or left foot respectively. Now pushing Mongo in this game is definitely broken, so be careful. There's a weird glitch right now that will throw you off your skateboard when you're pushing Mongo. Combine pushing and turning and make your way through the checkpoints. I'll meet you over there. All right, bet. This will give you a firm understanding of the game and its mechanics functionally without just having to read it. Now that we can gain some speed, I guess we should learn how to stop, right? I don't want you bombing down hills without knowing how to break. Now, we definitely talk about that all the time on my channels. Let's combine what you've learned so far, pushing, staring, and stopping. See you over there.
All right, let's give the board a break and go on foot. Tap Y to get off your skateboard. And that is when you use the left stick to control your character by walking up the stairs. Press X to jump in this game. Okay, enough of the boring stuff. Let's get to the tricks. This is the part that you all have been waiting for. In session, tricks are pulled off by using the left stick and the right stick. Left stick equals front foot. Right stick equals back foot. To ollie, hold right stick or back foot down while holding it down. Then flick left stick up to pop. I am going to start this with the biggest problem that I see people run into in this game right now. That when you bend down to pop your trick and then your character stands up straight and does this weird little knee hop thing that that happens because you have released your back foot before you popped your front foot. So make sure you pay close attention. You want your ollies to come off of the ground like that. You don't want this to occur all the time. For the next trick, I'll need you to hold down the right stick a little longer. Okay, bro. So you can ollie up those stairs. Make sure you get enough speed. You have to commit. Bet. Got you, buddy. Boom, appreciate you. Sick. Continue along the path. I mean, what more could you ask for as far as like an intensive tutorial, bro? This is this is really it. Oh, I missed something. Oh, and my session marker was that was wrong. Yes, sir. On my way to the checkpoint. This game is amazing, especially in the way they teach new players how to play. But if you skip this, you're just asking for a world of trouble not necessarily trouble but you will have difficulties playing this game if you didn't go through this part you'd end up uh pushing a lot of buttons and trying to change a lot of settings i didn't really need changing good stuff let's keep this momentum going next we'll do some manuals that's where you balance on two wheels check your mission hud if you need more info that's some real explanation i like that push find a balance point of find the balance point zero of four Pull the right stick halfway down to manual. Pull the left stick or front foot halfway up to nose manual. One. Sick. Nose manny. And not to find four, they want you to do a switch. Look how easy it is to fall off your skateboard in this game. If you haven't tried it yet, it is extremely easy to fall right off your skateboard, like in real life. Which is why they say you gotta commit to these tricks, my boy. You can steer while in the manual by using the left trigger and the right trigger. Manual for 10 meters, bet. Oh, sorry, I said manual. If you want to be real classy, you can land into a manual. Oh, I definitely want to be classy, my guy. That wasn't a land in it. That was not a land in a manual, my boy. But okay, try to ollie while in a manual. Flick the non-engaged left or right stick while balancing in a manual. So if you're manualing with your back foot, flick your front foot up while in a manual. That is going to get you to pop out of the manual. Now that specifically is a problem that a ton of you have been experiencing, bro. And you guys have been commenting this. How do I get past that day one mission where I have to pop out of a manual, go play the tutorial. I'm telling you, it's the best way to learn how to play. It's the best way. If you want to retry a trick, you can set a session marker. These allow you to teleport back to a location in case you're too lazy to walk back. Yes, in a video game, I 10 times out of 10 do not want to walk back. Session markers even save your facing direction, so keep that in mind when setting them. Facts. Oh, got knocked off. Place your marker here and ollie up that ledge into a manual bet. Let me get my get back one time, bro. Don't you dare. Sick. 
Sick. Okay, Ollie landed manual Ollie off now. Okay, good, good, good. You're getting this. Get off your board and hop onto the ledge. I will do just that, my boy. Time for some body rotation. Slap down one of those session markers, bet. Yes, sir. How'd that feel? If you want to hang around here and practice, go for it. I could wait. I'll go stroll through the park. When you're ready, we'll meet at the next spot. This is the tutorial, I'm telling you. I'm telling you, if you want to quickly change your stance, you can either do a 180 or a revert. Oh, knocked me off. Next are nollies. No, it's ollie. These are similar to ollies, but you're crouching at the front of your board. I would say you're popping off of the nose, but I respect that. Hold left stick up, then flick right stick down to nollie or fakey ollie. So you're doing this instead of doing this. So instead of popping here, so instead of popping here for an ollie, you're gonna pop up here for a nollie. You're gonna pop here for a nollie. All right, let's try and nollie up some steps. Does this blue square mean that we should put a session marker down? I'm pretty sure. You'll need to make sure you pop right before the steps to make it up. Set a session marker so you can easily retry. Yes. That, that's not what they meant. Let's try that again. Thank you for the clap, yo. He said, hell yeah, I think you're ready for some flip tricks. No stress though, it's the same as an ollie except you flick to the sides. Check the mission hub for more info. So now, what you can see on screen is they're giving us instructions on how to form our first flip tricks in this game, which in this case is a kickflip. The way you kickflip in session, I wish I had a better drop down animation when you were I wish I had a better drop down animation when you went to run onto your board because this teleport ain't it. But doing a kickflip in session is as easy as doing an doing a kickflip in session is as easy as doing an ollie. But instead of just simply flicking your front foot up, you are gonna flick your front foot to the side. If you're regular, it's to the left. If you're goofy, it's to the right. That is how you do a kickflip. And if that's how you do a kick flip, then the exact same thing applies for a heel flip. But in this case, you push the stick to the right or to the left if you're goofy. I don't like the little bounce that this game gets either. But hey, you can't always, you can't be that picky, right? Kick flip or heel flip into the bank? Sure. Let's keep this going with some scoop tricks. Scooping is when the board rotates around, you know, shove it. With these, you need to rotate the engaged left stick or right stick before popping with the other. It should have said you need to, you know what? He could have explained it by saying we need to rotate the engaged back foot, but that is left stick or right stick. You understand? Same thing. So you see on screen right here, it says how you push down and then rotate in a specific direction before pressing up. That's perfect. 360. 
Nice. And to top it all off, let's combine some flipping and scooping. Push, varial flip. So the varial flip input down on the right stick, quarter circle, and then left on the front foot for the kick flip. Push, tray flip is the exact same thing, but half circle after pressing down on the back foot and then kick flip. Exact same thing. He says, all right, all right, I'm thoroughly impressed. You know what? Me too. How about we give your legs a rest and hop on a bus? Don't worry, I got you on bus fare. Yo, I appreciate that, bro, because we did just have one of them sessions, dog, and I'm mad tired. I seen everybody eating french fries earlier, and, you know, my broke ass ain't have funds to get none. So I really appreciate you helping me out on a bus ride right now, man. My mama not home. All right, so now we're on a bus. Let's go on over to insurance agency, really? That's tight that the uh, tutorial takes you straight to San Fran. I had no clue. I haven't played this tutorial this far through. This is, I think, their second reboot on the beginner tutorial in this game. The first one was automatic. The second one you opted into, which was very similar to the first one. And then this one is like their full immersion take, which I love. Welcome to San Fran. That was one hell of a bus ride all the way from New York. I know, right? San Francisco is home to some of the most iconic skateboarding spots. So let's go shred. Bet. Let's do it, bro. Okay, so we're getting close to grinding, but first we need to learn how to position a board while in the air. This allows us to aim it at the grind surface. After you pop, you can hold left stick or right stick in a direction to point the board. Notice how when he went to pop the skateboard, as soon as he went into the air, his front foot dipped in the direction I pushed the stick in. That would be him landing in a grind, whatever grind that would be there. In this case, that would probably be crook. Just like that, bet. Okay, so he wants a front foot grind right here. Nose grind. So now the instructions on screen are only showing the inputs that you use after popping into the air, which is why the right stick or back foot is blank with a line. Now they're already assuming you understand that you need to ollie into this position. And then what you do with your left foot is how you get into the nose grind. Mine was more of a crooked grind instead of a nose grind, but you kind of get what they're saying. Now nah, back foot grind. We'll do a 5-0 for this one for sure. So that Smith was an accident. Let's get it. Yikes. Oh, got took out, but it counted. Let's go. Let's run it back, though. Just like in real life, this game does wonders for the grind mechanic when you choose not to pop so high it's getting serious now he said for show for show now let's do a slide with both feet board slides a board slide requires you to balance your weight between your two feet so you need to hold the left stick and the right stick outwards simultaneously check the mission hud outward away from the midline as you see the left foot goes to the left the right foot goes to the right let's get it And return to the session marker. Simple. You can use left trigger or right trigger to rotate your body while in the slide. Try using left trigger and or right trigger to rotate right at the end of the slide to straighten out the board. Step outside with me first. Yeah, one moment. We we'll finish uh, recording this video. Probably like one minute, two minutes. Why? Okay, it's foggy out there. Wow, it's a trip.
let's try to ollie out of a grind. Flick that opposite foot away from the grind surface. For the next grind, flick up to ollie out. So we're gonna do a 5-0, and then we're gonna flick up to ollie out. But here's the mistake or the problem that I'm realizing. No, it's not a mistake. They're not giving you instructions on how to ollie out on screen. They're simply showing you how to do a back 5-0 again, which we already learned from the last one, but they're not assuming that you know that. So of course you pop your ollie and you put your right stick or your back foot down. And then you press up to ollie out. All right, pop quiz. Think you can trick into a grind? Yes, try doing kickflip or heel flip into a grind for sure. You got it, buddy. That was wild. And that was gross. I know you had it in you. Yo, I appreciate you, man. We are almost done. Damn, what a journey this has been. Open a pause menu and go to select map. Let's head back to Chatham Towers. Got you, buddy. Well, that wraps up the basics. When you feel ready for it, try the true stance controls and the gameplay settings for the complete skate sim experience. I'll catch you later. In the meantime, explore the city and look for other spots to skate. Look out for other skaters too. They might hit you up with a challenge. You should head over to No Comply Skate Shop and let them know you're back. Turn up. That's exactly how you play this game. That was the beginner tutorial. Now, Shorty just asked me to step outside and see how foggy it is. So I'm about to go do that, man. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.